InSight will be landing on Mars next Monday, November 26, 2018. And it's kind of a big deal. Let me explain. First of all, we have not landed anything on Mars ever since the Curiosity rover. InSight will be the eighth artificial object we have ever successfully put on Mars. It will be the first object we have ever landed on Mars in the past six years. That's a hell of a trip. And here's the thing. Even compared to previous missions, InSight is a truly unique one. While all of its predecessors focus on the surface of Mars, and some of them even wander around, InSight is not going to do any of that. It is supposed to land on this Elysium Planitia, a plane that straddles on the equator of Mars and just sit there for the rest of its life. Instead of traveling around on the surface of Mars, it will go deeper into it. And for the first time, it will help us understand the formation of Mars over billions of years. But the fundamental question still remains. How does this connect to what we're doing on Earth? So here's the answer. Landing on Mars is a very rare event and InSight will once again provide us with valuable information on how a machine can propulsively land on Mars. It will also provide NASA and SpaceX with essential data for future manned missions to Mars. Additionally, InSight will also enable us to have a better understanding of the red planet. If you look at Mars from a greater time scale, you'd realize that just two decades ago, we know almost nothing about our red neighbor. We had our hypotheses, but those are easily proven wrong once we have our rovers on top of it. It is not until the opportunities and the spirit from the 2000s and the Curiosity rover from the 2010s did we start really unravel the mystery that is Mars. And with insight, we will dig deeper into the planet quite literally and discover the formation of Mars over billions of years. At least a few questions will be answered. Where do we land on Mars so that we have easily accessible water and hence oxygen for our astronauts? If we're talking about Starship, as Elon just changed the name of BFR to Starship, where do we find methane so that we don't have to worry about refilling BFR's fuel tanks? And most curiously is this question. What killed Mars billions of years ago and will that event happen again and destroy Earth? Those are the questions Inside and its predecessors are trying to answer, and those are existential level questions that we all have a responsibility to answer. But for now, landing is still our first priority. Landing anything on Mars, even in the 21st century, is still not an easy task. There are thousands of procedures Inside had to go through before it safely landed on Mars. Entry, descent, and landing procedures is called a seven minutes of hell for a reason. Entry angle has to be maintained at precisely 12 degrees. Parachute, aeroshell have to be deployed at an exact moment. On top of this, the EDL sequence will be performed automatically without human intervention, simply because of the distance between Mars and Earth. Any instruction that is sent from Earth to Mars will take a full three minutes. Combining all of this together, it's gonna be a hell of a landing on Monday. All right, thank you all so much for watching. If you love this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me at Lay Creatives on Twitter and Instagram. As always, I'm Lei. I'll see you guys next time.